Joining us now is Alex Brill. He's a research fellow at the American Enterprise uh, Institute. And Stephanie Kelton is a professor of economics and public policy uh, at St uh, SUNY Stony Brook. What's a, a way that, that this is possible to do this, Stephanie, in, in, in your view? I don't know. It's problematic to try to do what's equivalent to a, a property tax because you don't know about gains, unrealized, uh, et cetera. Um, we had a, a White House uh, spokesman on talking about the 1% not paying taxes. I, I don't think that's who we're talking about here. I think the 1% pay about 40% of, of total. We're talking about the point zero 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 one. They don't pay themselves any income. They never sell their assets, so they, they aren't taxed. Should they be? Well, I think most Americans believe that it's wrong for somebody to, you know, uh, have the value of their assets appreciate the way that the people that we're talking about, and it is the 0.01%, Joe, that we're talking about. I mean, these are people, if you think about billionaires since the pandemic started, right? These people have seen their wealth increase by 50% over that period of time. I think most Americans think that uh, it is wrong for people to avoid entirely using things like the step up in basis and all the things you talk about on your show to never end up paying federal income tax on some of those gains. I think, uh, yeah, there's a way to, to deal with that. And I think most Americans are in favor of, of doing something about it. Normally, the, the argument, I, I've made it in the past, is that when you're, if you didn't inherit it, you know, you've, you've paid taxes as you're trying to, to build your wealth, and you've paid ta it's, it's It's after-tax dollars. And I, I don't really see a problem with maybe, you know, I don't know about taking a loan against, you know, capital gains, things like that. But in general, it almost sounds confiscatory. And we've never done that in the past. There's property rights. Uh, and people do point out property tax, which, which you have to... Uh, you, you kind of do it there. So I guess it's, it's not unprecedented. But would you agree that we, don't, we do want to avoid double taxation? If you've paid taxes while you're earning it, you really shouldn't be taxed necessarily uh, on just having it. Yeah, I mean, look, when we talk about confiscatory taxes, there are people who would say the income tax is confiscatory. We didn't have it until 1913. And it was a heavy lift to get something like that done. And it really started with states. The federal government came after states. And as you said, we have property taxes. We already have yep. capital gains taxes. So we have estate taxes and gift taxes. In many cases, what these states are talking about doing is increasing the tax rates on things like the estate tax. And so it's not always an entirely new tax that we're talking about. Sometimes we're talking just, or these eight states are talking about just making adjustments. Mm -hmm. Alex, 1913, a year that will live in infamy. Um, no, I'm kidding. But, but do you have a way to, is there anything that you would accept here to try and get at that 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.0001 uh, percent that, that we're talking about, the billionaires? Yeah, so, I mean, the first thing I would say is uh, to have a progressive tax system, I think, is um, consistent with what um, most Americans want. And it's consistent with what we generally have. We have a system where higher income individuals, as you said, you know, are paying a, a lot of tax and, and lower income individuals are paying no tax at all, income tax, I should say, no income tax or negative income tax. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with, with a, a progressive system, I think. When we go further and try to um, recapture the wealth that others have, that certain individuals have accumulated in the past, I think we've gone too far, particularly at the state level. And Stephanie is cr absolutely correct. Different state proposals vary. Some are just changes to the existing system. Some are new policies. But these are taxes that are difficult to administer, easy to avoid, and inefficient. So these are not the characteristics of a tax policy that I would think would be desirable for the U.S. economy.